good morning y'all it's a beautiful morning here in north central arkansas and we had an amazing sunrise had our coffee with an amazing sunrise and uh now i'm going to get all of the plant babies watered and then head out to the barn and get some work done out there um lots going on today i have uh doggy nail trims today so in a neighboring town so my day is going to be a little broken up but i did catch some footage yesterday of a of a varmint and there's controversy in between me and mr wonderful as to what it is um i think it's a groundhog he thinks it's a rock chuck and i think that maybe potentially what we call rock chucks in oregon are groundhogs in arkansas and so i think that maybe there's a little bit of a not a language barrier but just that people call them different things so all of my friends from the south especially from arkansas if you could please tell me what this varmint is and settle the debate, that would be amazing. Um, so I'm gonna drop that that video below. Uh, no, I'm gonna stick that video in right here. Okay, so what is it? Please tell me. Um, anyway, they're cute and they're, I'm sure they're vicious, but they're cute, you know, from the roadway. So we're gonna get these babies watered and taken care of and uh, the grass is starting to grow. So mowing is going to start, which I'm actually kind of excited about. I know I shouldn't be, but I kind of am. I mean, mowing my yard in March when I'm used to having eight inches of snow in my yard. Um, uh, I'll take it. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Come along and let's see if we can find something fun to do. This is our row of potatoes in um, tubs, mineral lick tubs or protein lick tubs for cattle. Uh, we get them for free or very little money uh, from the cattlemen when their cows are done eating all the good stuff out of them and then we grow something good in them <laughs> so this is all uh, potatoes and all of these there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight buckets and these are all of our determinant potatoes um, there's some Yukon Golds in here there's some Pontiac Reds and I believe Purple Majesty are in here and we still have our indeterminate to plant there aren't as many but we ran out of protein tubs, so we're trying to decide what we're going to put them in. Uh, and then of course we haven't planted uh, sweet potatoes yet. It's not warm enough for them yet. Sweet potatoes are frost tender. Potatoes are frost tender too, but they can take a little bit of a, of a frost um, and get, you know, get zapped a little bit and then come back. Uh, but sweet potatoes are, are very... Uh, warm weather preference plant so we're waiting on on them and then down here at the end I'll show you in a second look at how much that grass is grown you guys I mean it's crazy just three days ago it was like oh there's not enough to mow and now it's time to mow all the pastures. Uh, so these are all the strawberries that I planted with you guys. There's 50 strawberry plants here. 
and these are uh, early glow and these two closer tubs and jewel both of them are June bearing and this is both of these I planted them from bare root and it's both of these uh, second year so we should get a little bit of a yield off of them I never really expect anything anything significant on the first year um, just because I want them to be establishing roots and I'm not going to be mad at them if they don't give me roots I had to go out to the barn and get another hose because I came up short oh look at that it's a, a chili pepper it's a um What did I grow last year out here? I grew um, cayenne. It's a cayenne pepper left over in the garden. You know what? I still have not picked up those pliers. I'm putting them in my pocket. Maybe that'll make me remember <laughs> to put them in the barn. It's like the pliers that never went home. This bed, I think, went a little um, anaerobic. Both of these beds. And uh, so I'm trying to bring them back. As you can see, the plants are doing beautifully, but... Rhubarbs are starting to come up. I was thinking that this guy was not with us anymore, but it does appear to but we do have some growth coming, so that's exciting. But this one over here is by far the happiest. Okay, that's it for this hose watering. Okay later on in the afternoon, but look what got delivered. Oh, a whole load of rock. And Mr. Wonderful picked up a culvert. And so that will be happening on Saturday. We need to put a culvert across the driveway there. And that is just a temporary place for my sign um, until the, the porch gets covered. Uh, and then Mr. Wonderful will find a really pretty place to hang it on the group shop. But a short trip to go trim doggy toenails turned into a long town day in three different towns on the search for wire fencing. Not this wire fencing, these are hog panels. We needed um, not field fencing, but it, it ended up, what we ended up getting was we ended up getting goat and sheep fencing at Tractor Supply. And of course now it's later in the evening, so all the kids are yelling at me because they're hungry. And so I have to get evening chores done and then see what else I can get myself into before it gets dark. 
Look at how much the farm is greening up. It's amazing how quickly it happens. I just, you guys are probably going to get tired of me saying that, but I just can't believe how fast things grow here. <laughs> um, and, oh, I left my truck door open. Mr. Wonderful's coming up behind me in the four-wheeler. Making noise. Still have that to do. And I wanted to take you guys out here and show you something. Oh, every time I turn around, there's something else to do, but there's so much beauty in it. Look at that pear tree. Isn't that just... Oh. Spectacular. And it's got all kinds of... I hope... Good pollinators. All over it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to take some pictures here real quick. Oh. Man, I tell you what, some days, like, look at this right here. I think it's safe to say there's going to be some uh, thinning that needs to be done on this <laughs> two-year-old pear tree. This guy is just rocking it. Mr. Wonderful's making progress on the fences down here. He's got a, uh, looks to be an H brace happening down there. And um, he's working on the other side too. Look at these guys. They're starting to stand up tall. I mean, we've got some that are on the struggle bus, but I'm really happy with, you know, they're starting to grow. And I got myself a new rain gauge <clears throat> since somebody broke my last one. I won't name any names, but okay. My animals are hungry. I gotta go feed them. Oh, one more thing. Look at that. Okay, here is something that um, people don't talk about a lot. And uh, I'm just gonna say my little uh, what I do for my kids and we do try to garden organically and we try to be as organic as we can however we do flea and tick treat and heartworm treat um, or guard our animals so I'm armed with cat food with treats on top um, and I have two revolutions in my hand we treat our cats with revolution which is flea tick and heartworm as well as some other intestinal parasites and um, the dogs all got done this morning with next guard they got next guard this morning and so i'm going out <coughs> here let's see how it's cute nice yeah baby they're getting so big so fast um I'm headed out here to the barn and I'm, oh shoot, hold on. I forgot the scissors. So this is a spot on treatment and it goes in between the shoulder blades. Uh, as far underneath the fur as you can get it. So, Headed out to the barn. My blinky light finally gave up. Oh, look at that. 
sun coming through the back gate. So pretty. Are you hungry? I'm gonna see if I can't get the girls their flea treatment. Who's gonna come up here and eat? Hmm? Come up here and eat? Oh, Miss Daisy's first. Oh, Miss Daisy's. That's a good girl. Okay. Whoopee. Got the two barn kittens. They're revolution. That's always a big deal because they don't really like to be caught, touched. Fancy you come in right now, Miss Rogie. It's a good thing I did you a couple weeks ago. Mm hmm. So far, our three barn cats are doing just fine. Okay, check that off the list. Um, I got the stalls done this morning before we left. And honest to goodness, you guys, there was no intentions of being gone all day. Um, it's just, it's part of it. We, we're trying to build a farm. Sometimes it takes longer to find things than you expect it to. Um, oh, jeez, I gotta take the trash out. But right now, my next task is, I already fed you guys, uh, to go out and clean the chicken coop before it gets dark because it needs cleaned. So I am going to go try to do that beneath a beautiful sunset on the farm again. Hi guys, how's it going? Huh? Forest fungus is looking a little better every day and Broncos is all but gone. So that's good news. And Missy Velvet got a, I think it was a pretty decent tick bite. Um, you guys know of anything to help keep the ticks off your horses please let me know i am spraying her with fly spray pretty um i don't want to say extremely but um you know i'm i'm covering every inch of her body with fly spray every single morning um 
and I don't necessarily love to do that, but if that's what keeps the ticks off of her, and so far, for the most part, I've only picked off that one new one this morning, but it was on her lip, and her whole bottom lip got all swell up, so I, um, I got the tick off, and then I treated it with iodine, and I checked all the rest of her body, and there's no other new ticks, uh, but if anybody knows of a better way, then please, please, please feel free to drop it into the comments. I would love to hear alternative ways other than putting a fly spray on her every day. I don't mind the work, um, but I just don't like using chemicals if I don't have to. So um, anyway, back out I go. The girls and King are doing pretty good together. So that's good. There we go. Okay, well, got dark on me again, but uh, the white powder is DE Diatomaceous Earth, and we've got some kids up top and some on the bottom. A new bag of bedding in the chicken coop. Their minerals are filled, and um, I'm gonna let them go to bed. I didn't mean to disturb them this late, but sometimes. You got to do what you got to do. So here we are again. It's dark, but that's part of, it's part of working and uh, it's just part of life. And um, that is velvet pulling hay out of her hay bag. Um, but the chickies are taken care of and the onions are growing great and the strawberries and the potatoes are doing their thing underground. Um, so the gardening season has kicked off and the business is open. <coughs> Bronco, do you want to say hi to the people? Hmm? Is there something that you'd like to say? Yeah, he says bring more food. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to keep you guys out of the the, the glare of the light up there. Um, videoing at nighttime is, is challenging and I'm sorry about that, but I like to show you guys my real life and, ah, I'm struggling, hold on. Brenda. There isn't really a good spot. Um, so, um, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me again today and checking in on the garden and, and the kids and doing some farmy chores and sorry, it was another split day, but this is my life. Good night, babies. I love you. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. All right. Okay. Well, <coughs> more broken up days to come as uh, the groom shop grows and the farm grows, of course. But as promised, we will take you along for every step of the way. I'm so glad you stopped by today. I hope you had a beautiful day. Yours truly. <laughs>